Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from Madden 16. Today we continue our franchise with the Oakland Raiders. It is week five and we have a very big game today. It's against divisional rival, the Denver Broncos. Perfect on the season so far, 4-0. Peyton Manning, their quarterback, and we have a tall task today to take down Peyton and the Broncos. But starting first, the Raiders, the ball, car, 900 yards, nearly 1,000 yards. We'll go over 1,000 today. Six touchdowns, but five interceptions. We've done well recently of limiting those turnovers, and we will try to continue that today as third and inches. We're going to throw here, but penalty on the field, and it's going to be holding on Gabe Jackson. So this one coming back now, third and 10, as we have to do it all over again. Carr looking downfield, but this one timing just a little bit off there with the receiver, and that's going to fall incomplete, and we are going to have to give the ball back. And now the Broncos take over. Peyton Manning, 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns, two interceptions. I don't know why the camera zooms in so much on those. I don't know why it just uses, doesn't use the same camera angle every time. But nonetheless, Peyton Manning having a very good start to his season. 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns, very good numbers. And he's looking pretty good so far here. First and 10 now. Peyton going downfield to Demarius Thomas. I'm sure we'll be calling his name a lot today. Now first and 10, yet again from the 46 in the play action pass here. Peyton looking downfield. He's going to take off. Peyton Manning, you're not going to see this every day, running downfield and also not sliding. Peyton, you got to learn how to slide. You're like an old China doll. First and 10 now from the 33. Manning dropping back, looking downfield, and he will throw and connect. No, it's going to be dropped there. The receiver, not sure who that was, but does not hold on. So third and five from the 28. And Sanders in motion here. Manning is going to throw once again, and he is going to be off the mark as Peyton Manning. Looking a little rusty there. The Broncos are going to have to settle for the field goal. So 3 the game. Raiders back with the ball, and Carr going to go across the middle. Rod Streeter on the reception there out to the 47, as it's now 1st and 10 from the 48. Carr looking. Got someone downfield. It's going to be the tight end, Rivera, and he has got the first down. We are inside the 20. So now first and 10 from the 16, the handoff to Latavius Murray. He's going to break one tackle and carries the next guy down to the 7 as we're now inside the 10 second in inches. Carr going to take the snap here looking, but the pressure coming and the sack coming. It's going to be Webster with his first sack of the day. So now third and 8. Carr looking. Is anybody open? No, we're going to take off here, and we will just pick up the first down. Carr takes the hit, but we get the first down. So a fresh set of downs here. First and goal from the five play action, and this one never going anywhere but backwards. Von Miller with the sack. So now second and goal. We're back at the 13-yard line, and Carr looking to get these yards back. No one is open. Again, very good coverage, but we got some room here. We're going to take off, and again, we're going to take the hit, but we're back down to the three. So now third and goal from the three. Carr, the quick throw. No quick throw. No one. Again, a very good coverage from the Broncos. We see somebody there, but it's too late, and we get taken down before we can get rid of the ball. And that is going to be fourth down. We get the field goal. So it's 3-3 game. Broncos taking over once again. Manning play action here. Going to go deep. And it's going to be caught. Demarius Thomas. What a catch from him. As he times that jump perfectly. Diving and making the catch. So now first and 10 from the 18. Peyton throwing here to C.J. Anderson. The running back. He will get inside the 10. Down to the 6. Manning approaching 100 yards here. As we are now into the second quarter. Third and goal now from the 2. Pistol formation, Peyton hands it off to Anderson, and he is not going to get to the end zone. The stop from the Raiders defense, what a stop that was, as the Broncos are going to kick the field goal. So now it's just a 6-3 game instead of 10-3, as the Raiders go back to work. Carr completes the pass there, now facing a third and two. Can we avoid the three and out here? No, we cannot. Carr sacked again by Von Miller, and the Broncos are going to get the ball back, looking to extend their lead. Peyton, a lot of time here, no, but coming around the edge it's going to be Khalil Mack the second year player gets his first sack of the game and it is now third and nine for the Broncos as are they going to get a three and out as well going downfield and no it's not going to be a three and out because this is going to be a pass interference call on the defense TJ Carey going to be called for it and what a horrible penalty as we cannot shoot ourselves in the foot like that against this Broncos offense so now second and 12 and Benny Fowler going to be the receiver on that play as he is now going to pick up that first down at the 13. Now for the Broncos, Manning shotgun, the quick throw across the middle to Latimer, and he will be close to that first down, down at the four. We'll be just short, though. So now third and five from the eight 
That's Broncos have been backed up a little bit here. Pistol formation. Peyton going to throw, and he's going to find Demarius Thomas in the corner of the end zone. So the penalty gives the Broncos new life, and they get the touchdown. So it's now a 10-point game, 13-3, to and the Raiders need to get going here. That is not going to help Carr way off the mark with that pass. So now third and two, trying to avoid our second consecutive three and out. Carr with some time here looking, but no one is open. We're going to fumble the ball. Wolf recovers it, and he's going to get the touchdown. And this is turning bad quickly here in this first half. It is now 20 to 3, three minutes to go in the first half. We have got to put some points up on the board here. Michael Rivera with the catch, and he is hurt on the end of that play as it just keeps getting worse for us. We'll get an update on him in a little bit. And then on third and nine, Carr again a poor throw. But fortunately, look at this, the penalty for the Broncos as Kayvon Webster holding. But look at this, Rivera broken collarbone it will not return for this one we'll see after the game how long we're going to be missing him so lee smith gonna to have to step up here second and one now car sacked again and von miller three sacks in the first half now a minute and a half to go in this first half third and seven and finally we convert on a third down car connects with amari cooper so now second and ten here just over a minute to go Carr across the middle, and it's going to be Holmes with the catch. Holds onto that one inside the 25. Now first and 10 from the 23. Carr going halfback screen. It's going to be Murray. Can he get the blocks? He's got one, and he's going to outrun the next. Can we dive in the end zone? Yes, we can. Touchdown, Latavius Murray. What a run from him as that halfback screen set up perfectly, and it's now 20 to 10. But, of course, the Broncos not going to just go quietly into the half as Manning finds his tight end for the long gain. It's now... First and 10 from the 40, as you can never leave Peyton with too much time to be able to get downfield and score. Demarius Thomas with that catch puts the Broncos in field goal position. And now first and 10 from the 12, Peyton looking, has some time, going to throw it, and he's going to connect. Latimer somehow comes down with that when they call the timeout, and they will get the field goal. So 23 to 10, the score at half. And looking at the stats, it is all Broncos, 189 yards passing. We do have the edge in rushing 54, but the Broncos with the one takeaway that they immediately turned into seven points. So 23 to 10, your score. The Broncos have the ball to start the second half, but look at this. This is what we like to see from this Raiders defense. Charles Woodson going to come in for the sack of the backfield. So now third and 24, this would be a huge stop to begin the second half. And we are going to get it as Owen Daniels with the catch, but that is nowhere near the first down as Peyton goes over 200 yards passing. But after the short punt and the good return, we are going to have this ball at the 50 to start the drive. And Murray off to the left, the spin move, very nice, gets by the next guy, cannot get by the next. But he is down to the 30 now, 47 yards rushing for him. As it's now second and 12, Carr, backfield, going to throw, no, sacked again, Von Miller, four sacks on the day, and it is now third in 19, Carr trying to get some time to throw at this one, nearly intercepted as he was nearly sacked again, so Janikowski, 57-yard field goal, but we miss, hit it, and it is going to be just short, and this day keeps getting worse as Broncos back with the ball, second and 14, two minutes to go in the third quarter. C.J. Anderson nowhere to go. He is having a tough day, 11 carries, just six yards for him. As it's now third and 15, can this defense step up again? Yes, they can. We got two guys coming for Peyton, as that's going to be our fourth second today. You see the Broncos, seven sacks on Carr, but still a close game and a winnable game here as that pass will be completed to end the third quarter. It's now first and 10 from the 40 as we begin the fourth quarter. Carr going to throw, and he's got Cooper across the middle, and he'll get upfield down at the 22. As if we can get a touchdown here, that will make it a one-possession game. Murray here up the middle spinning and spinning some more as he makes his way down to the 14. It's now third and two here. Carr, huge play. Will connect Cooper down at the four. But we are in business here, boys. Second and goal from the two. The pitch to Murray, and he's got the room, and he's going to get the touchdown. So that is going to make it a one-possession game. 23-17 to 17 is your score. But Peyton in the Broncos, of course, not going to just give up easily. First and 10, Demarius Thomas, this guy, a monster today as he has eight receptions for 104 yards. Now second and one play action. Peyton, some time to throw, and it's going to be who else? Demarius Thomas again as Peyton on 246 yards passing. 
First and 10 now from the 30. As the Broncos just looking to kill some clock here. Of course, they're doing it through the air. But here, a big sack. Peyton down in the backfield. Ray Ray Armstrong. And that is going to kick the Broncos out of field goal range. Ignore the pun there. Unintentional. Third and 21. Now Peyton, the throw. Going to find Daniels. But he falls as he catches it. And they are going to have to kick the field goal. So a huge stop, at least, for the Raiders. We only get the field goal instead of the touchdown. So 26-17. We have got to move quick here. Carr completes that pass. Now first and 10 from the 47. Six minutes to go. Carr looking to make another throw, and he will connect. No. It's going to be a penalty, though, and it is going to be pass interference on the defense. What a call there as Curtis Marsh a little too aggressive, and we have renewed life here on this drive. First and 10. Carr going to go deep downfield, and it's going to be Michael Crabtree. What a catch as he has to reach behind the defenders back to bring that one in, but he's going to get it. But here, third and six, it's going to fall incomplete. So that drive falls apart, and we are going to be safe. We take the point. So 26-20, we have got to get a stop here, and this is going to be hard as Daniels with the reception is going to set up a third and two as we're just before the two-minute warning here. Peyton throwing again, and this one's going to be complete. Emmanuel Sanders with the catch, and is that going to be the game here? We have got to get a stop. One timeout remaining, second and 11. It's going to be Ronnie Hillman, but nowhere to go. We'll get the down, call the timeout. So third and 10, if we can get the stop here. And C.J. Anderson is going to be stopped. So here we go. They'll run the clock out. They're out for the field goal. But if they make this, the game is basically over. So here we go. Kick is up, and the kick is not good. He pulled it. Look at this. Unbelievable. We have a chance to win the game as McManus misses the kick. So here we go. A minute six to win the game. Halu with the catch out of the backfield. He's to the 46. We're going to rush up here. No huddle. Second and one now from the 46. Carr looking downfield. Some time to throw, and he's going to find Michael Crabtree as he is down to the 42. Clock continuing to run here, 38 seconds as from the 42 here, Carr with some time, going to throw Streeter, and he will avoid the tackle, gets out of bounds, huge, stopping the clock there. So now second and three here from the 35, 30 seconds to go, Carr going to go deep, looking for Cooper, and he's going to come down with it, he's down at the one, did he get in? Apparently not, but here we go, second and goal from the one after we clock it, 14 seconds, the quick throw, and it's the touchdown, Amari Cooper, and with the extra point, we can win the game, we have the lead, one one more chance for the Broncos, Peyton Manning, and this one not going to be close to the end zone. It's going to be knocked down, and we have done it. The unbelievable comeback, and we have stunned the Denver Broncos. We score 17 points in the fourth quarter, and look at these stats as we turn the tables in that second half. The defense came up huge, 23 yards rushing for the Broncos. Peyton Manning, 304, Carr, 297. Two touchdowns, most importantly, no interceptions for him. He did have the one fumble. Latavius Murray, 11.57. We had to abandon the running game very early. Carr, actually, surprisingly, 52 yards rushing for him as he had to scramble a couple times. Demarius Thomas, 10 for 131. Daniel, 96. Cooper, 7 for 89 and a touchdown. Good game for him. Charles Woodson, 9 tackles, excuse me, 1 sack. Khalil Mack, 1.5 sacks. Von Miller, 4 sacks for him today. What a game for him. And then no interceptions, but... For our MVP of Week 5, we're going to give it to Derek Carr. He just led that comeback. What a second half for him as he had to deal with all the sacks in the first half, even some in the second half, but he did awesome in the second half and leads the win. And then here after the game, Rivera out six weeks, the broken collarbone. And then I never showed last game, Shane Wynn after he got hurt. He's out six more weeks as well. So we move on to Week 6, and this is nice because we have a bye week. So the craziness of these first five weeks, we've had some poor losses, that Bron or Browns game, excuse me, poor loss, but this Broncos game, what a win for us to build on for the rest of the season. So you see, obviously, the next game in Week 7 is going to be against the Chargers. I will. I normally give a look around the league during our bye weeks. This is obviously an early bye week. I'll still give a look around the league, and then we'll continue on to our Week 7 game against the Chargers in the next episode. So let me know in the comments down below who you feel was the MVP of week number five. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.